Yeah, Christy, how, how did you try to approach stopping their guards? Uh, did you use anything from the Florida game or, or any, anything like that? Well, I think you use the combination of events, you know, because we're at so late in the season. I've had a chance to watch them a lot. And, you know, I didn't think it was necessarily um, our scout. I thought we got saddled with some early foul trouble with our bigs. Um, kind of went away from the things that we wanted to do. They hired us inside. And then I thought in the third and the fourth, you know, Kayla just got the ball in her hands and made some plays. We couldn't keep her in front. Um, when we helped up instead of helping over like we were supposed to and gave up some easy buckets. But, again, she did what a fifth-year player does. And when you look across our league, I mean, it's those players that have so much experience. So um, just credit them. And, and again, you know, I guess I, I do want to add, you know, I just hope that Alexis Morris is okay. Um, you hate to see a kid go down. So uh, I thought Ryan Payne, though, really stepped up tonight, and their guards made some plays. And that's who they are, and that's what they do. You know, they're big. You know, obviously, um, you know, they were doing a great job um, of limiting our touches and, and making things hard and forcing us off the three. Um, but we missed a lot of shots in the paint. Listen, guys, we're in the SEC, and we've got to make layups. And um, you could see down the stretch we really struggled to finish, and it's just something we have to continue to work on. So, um, But credit LSU with their size and their rotations. I certainly don't want to take any way, anything away from them, but we got to be tougher at the five. You, you can't have zero rebounds and three points and then look up and have four rebounds and no points and be successful at the five spot in this league. Um, it's, it's correctable. Um, certainly not be a negative, but it is what it is. And on a night where, you know, they dominated us inside and finished layups, we missed them. Yeah, I mean, we thought we were passing up a lot of open shots. They were going under the ball screens. They were giving us those in the first half. We became hesitant for whatever reason. Uh, you would think coming off A&M that, you know, but we kind of got back in our rhythm a little bit there in the third and the fourth and um, took the best open shot, you know, and, and I thought early we were too hesitant. Yeah, hi, it's uh, Brett Martel with Associated Press. Uh, I was wondering just big picture. I guess you've known Kim a long time, and I was wondering if you could, if you would mind commenting maybe on um, how far the team has come in her first season here and whether that's something you would have expected or, or what? Absolutely, I would have expected it. Um, you know, the energy, um, the confidence um, that she has given this team and this program and this community is really special, and I have great respect for it. Um, you know, we had a chance to work together and go to two Final Fours in three years at Louisiana Tech. Um, she was the first coach that I had a chance to work with that, number one, was a mom and gave me the confidence to be able to do that at this level as well. And secondly, um, you know, I just have great respect for her competitiveness and her work ethic and everything she's about. So, no, I'm not surprised. Um, you know, and I think, too, that you have to give these kids a lot of credit. She's embraced them. They've embraced her. And it's, um, it's fun to watch. It's not fun to lose tonight, but it's fun to watch, and I'm always happy for her when she has success. Thank y'all. I appreciate the way y'all are covering women's basketball in the SEC.